Chuck E. Cheese. Do you ever have chores? No, I hate doing chores. But if I do all my chores, then sometimes I get rewarded with a trip to Chuck E. Cheese's, so, you know. Well, that's good. Yeah, I guess it's a fair trade-off. When I was younger, one of the chores I was assigned at St. Mary's was to vacuum. Oh, oh Mr. Mittens is super scared of the vacuum cleaner. He wishes that they had never been invented. Well, Mr. Mittens can thank a janitor named James Murray Spangler for that. He invented the first portable electric vacuum. Okay, hang on. I'm sending Mr. Mittens a text right now. It's James Murray Spangler guy. There's a lot of explaining to do. Well, I'm afraid your text is a little too late. The electric vacuum cleaner was invented in 1908. You see, James would cough every time he tried to sweep up the carpets in the department store where he worked. So he tinkered with an old fan motor, attached it to a soapbox, stapled it to a broom handle, then attached it to a pillowcase to collect the dust. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. I mean, he just took a bunch of stuff he had laying around and put it together to make an electric vacuum. Well, Mr. Mittens does that too. I mean, that's kind of how he built his time machine. He what? Well, yeah. I mean, he used his litter box, a laser pointer, a couple of refrigerator magnets, and... Wait, are you telling me your cat built a time machine out of a litter box? Well, yeah, but it's one of those new fancy self-cleaning ones, so it has, like, a computer built right in. Mr. Mittens isn't going to use his time machine to... Uh-oh. It looks like he just created an alternate timeline where vacuums do not exist. He what? <laughs> Don't worry, Chuck. I'll handle this. Mr. Mittens, no. No. No, Mr. Mittens. Do not create alternate timelines. What just happened? Well, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but we better never tell him what year bathtubs were invented. Mr. Mittens just hates baths. <laughs> oh, brother.